welcome back I'm Kathy and if you're new to my channel I do food and product reviews and today is an update video on the Whopper that I reviewed um, if you didn't see that video I'll link it at, I'll link it up here or below and you can check it out so anyway Burger King claimed that they no longer have preservatives in their Whopper it tasted exactly the same but they said it would mold they actually had a commercial showing that over a 28 day time lapse uh, how moldy it got so I wanted to find out for myself um, because if you might remember there was a video going around about a McDonald's hamburger that had been around for like 20 years and it basically looked the same saying there's a ton of preservatives in McDonald's food and that it will keep forever Burger King is saying that uh, theirs has no preservatives and that it will mold so I wanted to find out if it would mold so it started out like day one day two I just had it on the counter wrapped up in the wrapper uh, as you can see here um, and then I went to this I put it in here uh, but there was some bugs that got underneath there like gnats or something I don't know fruit flies whatever they were I don't know but I was going out of town and there was no way I was gonna leave that sit on my kitchen counter for a week so I put it in a plastic container and I put it outside want to say first this is not a scientific experiment at all there's nothing controlled about this it's been inside outside so you don't need to tell me it's not scientific it's just my experience and I don't know what Burger King used either I don't know what kind of environment they had theirs in so when I got back into town last week I did check it out and I posted that on Instagram and it was pretty gross um, even before I left it did start to mold a little bit which you can see here mold has been spotted Right there and that was like seven days in so let's check and see what it looks like now when I saw it about five or six days ago whenever it was it was pretty gross then and I haven't looked at it since so I'm gonna put on some gloves I feel like I should wear a mask too but I'm outside so all right let me get it It just proves that Burger King was not lying that there is no preservatives in here I will bring the camera over so we can open it together okay are you ready I want to smell this Ew. there it is you can see oh gross oh it stinks I want to put on my mask. Sorry if this ruins you for a burger ever. Ew, I can't. It's like all stuck together. It's all nasty and moldy. Oh, I can still smell it. This mask isn't working. Burger King's not lying. It did mold. And yes, there is a lot of moisture in here. So I'm sure that played a role in it molding. Um, I don't know, but um, yeah, this is just nasty. So once again, not scientific. And ooh, that. So yeah, not scientific, but it definitely molded and it's gross. And I'm sorry if I've ruined you for a Whopper forever or any burger for that matter. What is that? Ew. <laughs> See the back of it. Pickles. Pickles. Oh, this is, I'm going to throw this whole container away because this is nasty. That was a fun little disgusting science experiment. So my question for you is, should I try a McDonald's burger and see if it molds? So that video of McDonald's burger, that's from 20 years ago. So maybe they don't use as many preservatives now. I don't know. So if you think I should try it or Wendy's or another burger, let me know and I will give it a try. All right, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Gross. If you like the video hit that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please think about hitting that red subscribe and the bell for notifications thank you for watching have a great day stay safe and i will see you next time